Hi. Hello once again. Happy Friday, everybody. Woo. Sun's coming out already. Woo. On this Monday morning. Woo. Trying to blind me. It's the wrong time of the day. The sun's over. Sun's behind me on this side. On my right side. The light's fine on the left side, but that right side is me. Sorry. But today is Friday. Happy Friday, everybody. There's two more days to the big 4-0. Hopefully, I'll be taking a trip either tomorrow or Sunday. I still don't. As of right now, I don't know. I have to talk to somebody, see if he'll, if I get it, if he'll take me to the bus station. And then I got to go tell my mother. I'll tell her after I get the trip. I can't back out of it. Once I get the trip done, she can't back, she can't back down from me. I'm going to do, I'm going to check some. I won't tell her where I'm going until I get ready to go. That way, I'll just say I'm taking, I just booked a bus ticket for this weekend, and you can't tell me no. I put my foot down. I'm doing this to try to go go for something that I've been wanting to try. Now that I got the money, I wanted to go try it. And I'm not being I'm not being stopped. Forty years old ain't got nothing accomplished in my life. Nothing important anyway. The only thing important I've done, graduated high school, graduated a a year of college and I got nothing to show for it no accomplishments nowhere I've had many many jobs that floundered and that nothing to show for it I want to try this I want to try this thing to see if I can if I can get my foot in the door and see if I can do it if I can go for it. Even if that doesn't happen immediately, I'll still be up there and then I could do then I could do YouTube with Brooks. I could continue to do him and he could continue to help me fix my videos perfectly and then I could do my videos and I can get my word out on my videos how to get more subscribers for my videos and then start getting paid for my videos I gotta find something if I can't do that then I'll probably find a job somewhere around town maybe I can work for a little while until finally my my break happens the big break happens for the music but that's another thing but Sorry for ram. I'm ram. Each video I've been rambling on at the beginning, but but today is Friday, April sixteenth. Video number two twenty six. Today we will be talking about a broken and a contrite heart. So on one side it's a broken heart, the other side it's a contrite heart. It's another one of those and passages. Maybe one day I'll be able to do like I said yesterday. Maybe I'll be able to. Get, get those other ones lined up and start doing a either Saturday or Sunday weekly video and this, this channel will be only gospel uh, devotions and other gospel stuff and then and, and I'll start I'll be starting a new channel where it'll be random videos and stuff like that on there so. but once I get this channel to where I want, where I need it to be. Once I get to have the subscribers like I want, then I'll be able to have, then they'll be able to reach out other people, and then I'll be able to start getting it going. Sometimes, as they say, sometimes YouTube takes a while to get, but you just stick with it, and you'll 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 finally get your big break. 
hopefully but then when I get my get it st get it going pretty good then I'll start the other channel and if I do any videos with Brooks then he'll send me the videos and I'll have them just in case to put them up on that new channel so whatever but we're starting with Psalms 51 17 called the sacrifices of God are a broken spirit a broken and a contrite heart O God that will not despise Sorry, excuse me I'm getting cramped up here mm. sitting in one spot a little a little long gets hurting but so God prescribed a system of animal sacrifices for sin in the Old Testament and these sacrifices pointed forward to Jesus who offered himself as the once for all sacrifice for sin Hebrews 10 11 and 12 King David understood the importance of the prescribed animal sacrifices but knew that what God truly wanted in a person's heart so in Psalm 51 David who was described as a man after the Lord's own heart 1 Samuel 13 14 demonstrated God's heart and his attitude toward his own sin. So the occasion of writing was David's transgression with Bathsheba, 2 Samuel 11. He asked God to forgive his sins, both specifically in the matter of Bathsheba, this evil, verse 4, and in general, blot out all my iniquities, verse 9, 2 Samuel 11. He recognized that sin was in his heart long before he committed adultery. Woo! Sorry for that brightness, that sunlight. Woo! Never been that bright before. It'll go down in just a minute. He recognized that sin was in his heart long before he committed adultery and praised his creator by repenting of his rebellion against God's command. So David had committed two death penalty crimes, adultery, Leviticus 20.10, and murder, Genesis 9.6. No sacrifice could atone for David's sin, Psalm 51.16, which is the previous verse of today's beginning verse, CF Hebrews 10.4, that means it's the ret it's What do they call that? You can see that again in Hebrews 10 4. That they just referencing. Something to do with referencing in verses. Because you see a lot of verses, you see, if it's got like a little thing, you go down, some Bibles have a little thing down there that says CF, this for the verse number. And it's basically, re, I don't know what the CF actually stands for but it's like a reference abbreviation but yet God forgave him 2nd Samuel 12 13 David's words show a deep awareness and a contri con contrition for his sin only when a person acknowledges his or her sin with a broken and a contrite heart in today's passage can a person truly appreciate God's forgiveness? So praise God that Jesus Christ, the creator of the universe, became a man and died to pay the penalty for sin, offering salvation to all who turn from sin to Jesus and trust in him alone for salvation. John 1.14, 3.16, Romans 3.25, 2 Corinthians 5.21. So thanks to Jesus' Atoning work, 1 John 1 9. If we confess our sins, He is faithful and just to forgive us our sins and to cleanse us from all unrighteousness. Amen. Sorry for the brightness. But that's all I have for today. Just two more days and I'll turn to big four rows. Wanted to reference that again. It's getting close, people. It's getting close. But tomorrow, Saturday, April the 17th, in video number 
327, we're going to be talking about the living Savior, starting with Romans 10, verse number 9. So I'll be getting that in just a few minutes, but like I said, two more days. Two more days left of being 30. 39. I love you and I appreciate you. Keep on keeping on and trusting God. He'll keep you safe in all you do. Continue to pray for me as I take this trip this weekend. Hopefully. No, not hopefully. It's going to happen. This trip is going to happen. Can't even bar the door. This trip is happening. That's all I'm saying. Either tomorrow or Sunday. So. So until then. Peace out. Until tomorrow, everybody. <whistles> Goodbye. God bless. Have a wonderful rest of your Friday. And have a wonderful, beautiful, awesome weekend. Goodbye.